PVD or posterior vitreous detachment is the separation of the vitreous from the retina. It is a natural part of aging and is usually harmless, although we have seen that it occurs more frequently and sooner in patients who either have had a cataract surgery in the past or who are abnormally nearsighted such as high myopia or who have had inflammation in the eye in the past. Well, floaters, uh, as we know, they are also seen very commonly in normal people who don't have any eye disease. They are basically seen as lines or spots or cobwebs in the field of vision. Now, uh, there are tiny clumps of gel in the vitreous or vitreous cells which are just annoying but cause no harm. Now, while most of the floaters, they tend to remain, some of them may disappear and become less bothersome. The problem arises when either there is appearance of new floaters or there is some change in the existing floaters and that is when one should definitely go and get their retina evaluated. Um, flashing lights or you know they are visible as lightning streaks to the patient, they appear when the vitreous gel it either rubs on the retina or pulls on the retina. Now any appearance of these flashing lights can indicate that there is a tear which is forming in the retina and usually most often you need to get it evaluated as soon as possible. Now retinal detachment or tears can happen to anybody and everybody but there is a certain subcategory of people who do tend to have a higher risk of developing a tear or a detachment. Now these include patients who have a family history of detachment, uh, any history of undergoing cataract surgery without a lens that is a phakic patients. Uh, people who are abnormally nearsighted, that is high myopia, people who have sustained some kind of ocular trauma or again as mentioned earlier, people who develop sudden onset of flashing lights or floaters in their field of vision. Now these patients do need to get a thorough uh, retinal examination done via indirect ophthalmoscopy. Yes, retinal detachment can be prevented. If a patient comes with symptoms of flashing lights or seeing black spots or cobwebs in front of their eye, then a thorough examination of the retina is required. Now, when we see any holes or tears in the retina, there are certain procedures that are done which can help in preventing the onset of retinal detachment. These procedures include either laser photocoagulation or cryotherapy. Now these are relatively safe procedures and are done in the outpatient department.